What's up, it's iPod Mutt Tutorials here, and I've been getting some comments saying that some of, that this jailbreak is not working properly for some of you guys, so I'm jailbreaking my iPad now, and I'm going to go over it in a more detailed step. Alright, so the first thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to greenpoison.com, and choose your operating system, and the jailbreak tab, choose one that has to go for you. So, once you download that, uh, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to put it in a folder, uh, drag the Absinthe program itself and the data folder in, into a folder that you create on your desktop. But, but make sure that Absinthe and data are both in the same folder. Okay, so now another problem that people have been having is that they're not running it with in administrator mode. That is, to do that, you're going to right click and do run as administrator. And some people uh, on their computer for Windows have uh, down here in the properties tab. If you want to, you can just, uh, if it doesn't work the first time and it uh, X's out, it says Windows shut down this program. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to open up the properties tab and then click compatibility and then run this program in compatibility mode for Windows XP Service Pack 3. And then just press OK. And you might want to make a backup of this, uh, of your uh, iPhone 4S or iPad 2 before doing this jailbreak if, if you uh, desire, the, if you feel the need to. <clears throat> and you also can, uh, uh, if you have a passcode on your device, uh, disable the passcode for this jailbreak. Okay, so once all these things are, are done, you're going to make sure that they're in the same folder. Uh, see, as I made a folder called Absinthe, and I placed the data and the uh, Absinthe application into the same folder. So, what you're going to want to do on Windows is right click, run as administrator, press yes, and it's going to give you this option saying, Welcome to Absinthe iOS 5.0 slash 5.0.1 untethered A5 jailbreak. And as it says, please make a backup of your device before using this tool. You don't have to if you don't want to, it just helps against uh, any errors. And it detects your um, your device right here. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to make sure that your device is plugged in. I'm doing my And what you're going to want to do is make sure that you X out of any of the multitasking games that you have open right now. I'm just going to X out of these two games I have open. Okay. And you're just going to have it on the home screen. So once it's on the home screen and you're all plugged in, all you're going to want to do is press jailbreak. And it's going to say beginning jailbreak. It's still on the home screen. Oops. Sorry, guys. It may take a while for some of you. <clears throat> but just hold on and it is working <clears throat> I'm not going to cut out anything from this video just so that you guys see the full jailbreak process and what it has and what it goes through when you're doing this <clears throat> all right it's Sending initial data, your device will appear to be to be restoring a backup. As you can see, restore in progress. <clears throat> and do not touch your iDevice in the process of this jailbreak at all. Don't even unlock it. Don't slide. Don't uh, turn it off. Don't don't put it in the lock screen. Don't do anything to it, or else it may cause an error. <clears throat> and for some of you, if you don't have a very fast connection, it might take a while to do this, possibly 10-15 minutes, because I, I was doing my friend's iPhone for us at his house, and it took us about 15-20 minutes to do his. Okay. <clears throat> and if you still have questions about this jailbreak, uh, you can always leave a comment down below, and I will be able to answer them as soon as possible.
and I will be making more videos in the future on how to use Cydia, cool new tweaks, themes, um, and everything. It says, waiting for reboot, not done yet. Don't unplug your device. It'll re reboot your, I uh, your iPad or iPhone. <clears throat> and if you get an error on your jailbreak, just just go over what I said before. Make sure you have your passcode disabled. Make sure that uh, programs running also on your computer. If you have iTunes running, it will not work, but it should exit out of iTunes for you. And it says right here, preparing jailbreak data. Do not touch your device yet. Uh, don't even press if it goes off don't even press the home button to go back on the lock screen just let it all load it's installing all the things to your device <clears throat> and if I forgot to mention before this is only for iPhone 4s and iPad 2 so it will not work on any of the other devices <clears throat> as you can see it still says do not touch your device yet it will say almost done, just unlock iPhone and press jailbreak icon to go into the jailbreak. <clears throat> and if I helped you, please don't forget to subscribe and like the video, it helps me out a lot. And if you have any uh, video uh, ideas that you want me to make a video of, I'll be glad to. Just leave them in the comment below or you can send me a message uh, on YouTube and as I said before I am not cutting anything out of this video just to show you guys the full process that it takes <clears throat> and it, this might take a while for some of you uh, for, uh, for some of you guys it, it might not even be halfway done yet this is uh, the quickest step right here. It says, almost done. Just unlock the screen if necessary, then tap the absinthe icon to finish, which we will do right now. Oh, oh, here's my iPad. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to unlock it and just scroll over and you'll see the absinthe icon. Just click on it. It says, absinthe is now setting things up please stand by <clears throat> once this loads up it should be basically done it'll just reboot your device and it's uh <clears throat> and once it reboots uh... Cydia will take place over the absinthe icon and you'll be jailbroken on your iPhone 4S or iPad 2 on iOS 5.0 or 5.0.1. <clears throat> and once you jailbreak this, if you still can, you might want to save your SHSH files for uh, this firmware. And as you can see, Cydia has taken over the absinthe icon and you are officially jailbroken on iOS 5.0 and 5.0.1. So and all you're going to want to do is you're going to open up Cydia. It's preparing the file system. It'll it'll exit and it might respring when it's done. So um so thanks guys for watching and have a great day and check in my next video on how to use Cydia and how to download things. Thanks guys for watching.